In this video, I will demonstrate the process of modeling and designing foundation beams and strip footings. I've prepared a simple demo model for you. Let's start by exploring the parameters of the foundation beam. Here, you can observe the main rebar parameters, allowing you to set both the minimum and maximum steel diameters. Additionally, you have the flexibility to adjust the steel bar properties specifically for foundation beams. Now, let's move on to the primary parameters of foundation settings. Here, you can find information on the minimum footing width, pad base depths, and various general foundation parameters, including ultimate characteristic strengths, soil unit weight, and more. Now, let's start by adding foundation beams. I've set the width of the beam to 60 cm, and for demonstration purposes, I will be adding foundation beams only in the X direction to illustrate how to model them efficiently. You can insert foundation beams either one by one or simply click from one axis to another for a quicker process. Of course, you can also add foundation beams in the Y direction. I've demonstrated the process in the X direction, but the same method applies seamlessly to the Y direction as well. Whether you choose to insert beams one by one or click directly from one axis to another, the flexibility remains the same. Now, let's incorporate strip footings onto these foundation beams. To achieve this, you simply need to select the foundation beams and add strip footings. After the insertion, the strip footing menu will appear. Within this menu, you have the flexibility to modify various aspects, including changing the label, adjusting combinations that impact your design, setting subgrade reaction coefficients, specifying footing bar sizes, and more. Clicking on the, the Design button allows you to examine shear and moment diagrams. Once you click OK, the software prompts you to choose a method. In my case, I will select the Finite Element method, as I plan to conduct foundation analysis before proceeding to design the foundation beams. Now, let's double-click on the same strip footing and adjust some physical parameters, such as cantilevers, footing widths, depths, and more. Now, let's start by applying changes to the cantilevers. As you can observe, the cantilevers have been modified. Following that, let's proceed to adjust the footing widths, depths, and taper heights. Next, let's insert another strip footing in the X direction along the other axis. This showcases how easily you can add strip footings to different axes. The final physical property that I'll be changing is eccentricity. I will show you the both direction about eccentricity. Now, let's add strip footing to Y direction and after that we can proceed to foundation analysis. In finite element foundation analysis, you can examine the analytical model. Following this analysis, we can seamlessly transition to the design phase for foundation beams. Let's perform a batch design for all axes, resulting in the design of all foundation beams. Additionally, you have the option to manually adjust the rebars if needed. After the design, you can further investigate the detailed design report of the foundation beams from this section. Now, let's proceed to proto-details to obtain all the drawings for these foundation beams. Thank you. 
you can take the foundation beam drawings over here. In addition, you have the option to generate quantity takeoffs for these foundation beams. Thank you for watching our tutorial video on foundation beams and strip footings. See you in the next video.